Tier 1 video. Um, because I can and I want to, I have an aerial view of the layout because I got a new tripod today that is flexible, so I have it hanging from the light fixture in here. Um, I wanted to do a quick layout update. Um, I, I, I'm just going to redo it, redo, because I already had one made, and I just want to redo it because I got some new video software and I don't have any of the video files left. Um, so, um, as you can see, there's a lot of grass, there's a lot of trees, um, and things like that. Um, there's another sign that you might be able to see. I'm just going to take down the camera or my phone. Um, now I have, uh, the ready kilowatt sign, which I actually talked about in my video that I was going to upload, but my uncle got me this for Christmas, um, of 2012, oh, yeah, depends on when you're watching this, does it really matter, um, he works at Georgia Power, so the ready kilowatt thing was done by the Southern Company, which owns Georgia Power, and he got me this sign for Christmas because he really liked it. He also got me the Central of Georgia boxcar, which I have added metal wheels and knuckle couplers to. Um, then over at the farm, I have the, a fence that I made out of nothing but toothpicks and string. Yeah, that was a lot of work. I have the, the uh, fence right here, too. There's also a power line now. Um, and this actually functions. This is actually a functional power line. It doesn't power a whole bunch, but it powers three lights placed on the power line, and it hooks up back there under the boxcar where you can't see it. As a matter of fact, you probably can't guess where the power wire runs. If you can see that little wire right there that runs down, looks like a support wire. Well, that's it. Um, and then I have this box, which is not necessarily just for the layout, but I have it fixed up with a... I made this. It's got a switch to select between programming and track power, and then it's got a socket for the Bachman wire, and it also has a socket for a voltmeter with the cable that I've made, and that runs back to the Zephyr, which is in the back. Down there, you can't see it, because now I have my wireless controller, which I also got for Christmas this, uh, this last Christmas. Um, and I got some trains on it, because I've been running a few trains. Um, yeah, I made a lot of trees, um... I made several trees, I put, and I put more on there, there's a few more back there. We've got the buildings to go here, well, we've got the Merchant's Row 1 or 2, I think it's Merchant's Row 2 we have, and I've been in the process of painting and putting that together, I've sort of procrastinated on it recently because I've just lost the patience to paint all the little details, but I'm going to eventually get that done, um, and I'll do a video when I get that done, um, and then... I think the, 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 the river is done, well, it is, it's got a good bit of it done, I know it, it may seem a little blue, and it is, but it looks good, it needs to be vacuumed, so, <laughs> there's a lot of grass and stuff in it, and you, as you can tell, you can probably see that the light, lighting, and I may have mentioned this before, but I've got different light pictures in here now, so the lighting's a lot different, it's in the raw, it's in a different corner of the room, I really can't remember anything from the last video, so I may have mentioned this, forgive me if I have, like, the room's red now instead of blue. It's not over there at the window. My mom's desk is there now. And the layout is over here in this corner. The reason for this was a tree fell, hit our house, which... That was a that was actually back in March. Yeah. Yeah, it was back in March last year um, that that happened. Um, so not this, not this last March, but the March of 2012 was when that happened. And once again, I think I probably had a layout update since then. I'm not completely sure. But, um, yeah. So, let me turn on the layout. Signs are on. And then, matter of fact, let me pause the camera and I will be back in a second. As you can see in the dark, it is amazing. The roller crossings are on because they don't really work that well in the dark. They're 
light sensitive, so maybe, nope, won't even go off. Nope. But as you can see, the little lights are actually wired onto the power line, and that's what causes them to light up. Um, and this is actually a train car that I put a light in, so don't think that's part of the layout. And there's the uh, observation coach. And up here we still got the Southern Pacific sign and a like a like a blacksmith shop with all the electronics for that hidden. And all the electronics for that sign is hidden down in the mountain, um, up in the tunnel where you can't see it at all, period, from anywhere until you go behind the layout and actually look in the tunnel. Um, yeah, got my Climax and my 2.10.0 sitting here, and head on there, right. Where's my 2.10.0? Don't have the best camera view on this because of where I've got it. I don't have a phone to around the other way to make that easy. Um, yeah. So there you have it. Um, I just wanted to get get a quick update done because I have done a lot of stuff. Um, I think I have had one person ask. That may have been on a different video once again. It's been a little while since I've done one. I was actually going to plan on working on it some tonight, but I haven't. Um, I got sidetracked um, working on this box. I rewired the box for the lighting of the like tunnel of the uh, signals and the switches in the back. If you were wondering, I had it hanging from the light fixture. That's where my phone's hanging. So there you go. Um, so yeah. And I may actually do a review on this. I haven't done it. Um, so watch out for that. I may do an upcoming video. There may be an upcoming video. Now that I think about it on this, I haven't made the video yet, but I will. Of the remote and the receiver, which is back here, connected to my Zephyr, and that works perfect. Um, I'm really happy. Plus, this is something that I have now. The playable whistle because the DT400 series throttle, and this is a duplex, by the way. I was gonna, I wasn't gonna get the less expensive ones that only work one way. That would, that would get so annoying. So, even though, and I'll put this in the other video, even though the Zephyr doesn't support playable whistle, but this remote does, it still works. I promise. That's what I've been doing. But, um, anyway, I will have a video of this up in not too long, I hope. Um, and, yeah. Bye for now.